ago, the governor of uh, Illinois said that if Occupy doesn't doesn't stand up for some goals, that their their movement will fall apart. If the movement does not have goals, it will fall apart. So I think that this is the most important part of the movement, more important more important than anything else. Texas and the man that turned out to be reformists because of the way they were collected and the survey and, you know, maybe a cultural bias or whatever complaint you could have about methodology, that's just one, one avenue, okay? There's, you know, actions, marches, demonstrations. This is just one thing. It's not pigeonholing the movement in, in any way. If we report those results, we need to report them as, hey, this is just 36 people turned it in. We just wanted to let you know. Obviously, we have to state that this is not a statistically really valid sample. I'm going to take the, the sample of 35 or whatever. I'm going to take out the top 10 or whatever and then present them as what I don't, don't know, but because that expresses the will of the people here. But if, if we know better, based upon our experience in our uh, research, then somehow that it wouldn't be appropriate to analyze them with those tools of wisdom and experience. The method like requires that we reinvent the wheel again. We don't uh, learn from history. I think that we need to let people make up their own minds and just present the facts the right way. If, if it were to be put in sort of a proposal form about whether um, I do this presentation tonight, um, I would do it with, with you know the caveat that um, I take into account the points that were made here tonight. That um, you know this is this is only 36 surveys. This this is by no means a complete valid uh, statistical by all uh, you know clinical definitions. Exactly. Tony, about the 8% being significant? Yeah, statistically it is significant. Yeah. Per survey, a, per survey apparently like 2 or 3% getting is method, good. Well, actually also, you're an anarchist, so I think it would be valuable for the group to explain the positions that people here who represent those tendencies are uh, putting across. This is the first pass, almost the first issue of a newspaper, the first issue of demands. And then uh, we take another round of surveys, possibly uh, modifying the survey a bit to enlarge, because it's now been informed by the thinking and discussion that's been done by this committee. I think that it, as long as we have the caveat, you know, that I, you're right, 8% is not bad for a survey result, honestly, but my only concern is that it's going to skew too many people to think that this is the only things we're considering. And it, it may not be. And I think as we come back, if we do, if we do say, however, this is a first pass, this is where we're starting, that it does, does not mean that's where we're, um, that's not it. This is more a presentation about the methodology than it is about the outcome. Essentially, what we want to say to GA is this isn't a finished process. I mean, that's the essence of basically what we want to communicate. You're just extending something that you don't, you can't extend. If you don't come up with issues, we're dead. I don't agree with we're dead. It's our decision whether we die or not. And I think yeah, if you don't come up with the goals, you're dead. I disagree with that. Okay, well then, how anyway, let's go back Ranking to the, the table. each demand. So you can see just visually the raw data and you can almost see a clustering effect for those demands that got uh, mentions, a lot of mentions. This is the raw data page, right? And then what you do with this raw data is you can just do uh, some totals, just raw some totals on the number of rankings that you say would have gotten for number one or number two or number three. That's one way of looking at the data. The issues that got voted as ranked number one the most times. So ending corporate personhood if, got ranked as number if six. I may, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I study statistics uh -huh. and I, you know, I mean, I'm a researcher myself. So I understand everything that you're saying. 
90% of the people there will not. You know, you've already lost them. I think it's, it's really important because you want to communicate you know, something to them that they can consume to really condense this and, and simplify it you know, in a way and not, you no know, need to go into all that level of detail because okay. you're just going to lose them. Okay. I don't want to rush to, this, to the end. I want him to show how meticulous we've been here. That's part of the important communication to the GA. The one that got voted the most for the rank of number two, well, there's a tie for it. It's Wall Street money out of politics, overturn Citizens United, next is investigate the banks and bankers for fraud. Then for the rank of number three, um, there were five votes for stop the wars. There were three votes for divert military spending. So here's a heat map right here. So this is a linear formula where, where every um, rank, the rank of one got, for the purposes of this linear scale, uh, the rank of one got a point value of 20 and the inverse for the rank of 20. So the, the rank of 20 got a point value of 1. I would again say that I'm enjoying the detail that you're going into for us, and I appreciate the work and the intelligence and everything that's in here. It's, it's marvelous. Um, but that level of detail for your presentation tonight isn't, isn't going to work. You know what chaos GA, GA just normally is in and of itself on its own.